Well, hello everybody, and my name's Ian. Welcome to my shed, and uh, the things I get up to in here. Apologies for last week's video, uh, where I found this scientific thingy. Well, uh, I had a sort of try to reverse engineer it, and uh, ended up none the wiser. So I decided to take it bits and I started off with a screwdriver and I give up because that was uh, where I ended. Well this time I'm going to take it bits proper. I think the best way to do this I think is to give it a good throw down. Well, that seemed to do the trick. Well, I only wish it was as easy as that. Now, if you want to follow along with me for the most boring ticket bits I've ever done, I think, then uh, carry on and watching. And I'll see you at the end. So let's uh, take this scientific thingy to bits. Right, oh, right, that goes in a hole there. It ain't coming out. So maybe that doesn't do anything, but that's the measurement. Not magnetic. That bit says carrier. Everything's nicely machined, it really is. They're not tight. They're not tight at all. Right. <clears throat> One. One aluminium ring. C clip take off the uh, spring mechanism. Right. I need it to budge with this washes. Oh, there we go. Phosphor bronze bush inside or oil white bushing. <coughs> That's they're not tight. I'm going to take off this capturing mechanism here. Thanks, that all, but that's quite. Spring. That's quite uh, springy. That little inlet. Oh, 
Uh, so they're a different size altogether. A bit bigger. That's that. I'll just whip these off. Well, well, got that nut's got to come off the top. If in doubt, check it out. If in doubt, give it a cloak. There we go. Got an O-ring on that, so highly machine tolerances. Got another nut, which was easy to move. And a circle with two flat edges on. I bet it's a piston this. It turns. And it's thread it's threaded on, so it's threading up that shaft. Threaded that up, is there anything happening down here? Nothing. Well, let's take this out then. Roaring and just a shaft with three Allen keys at the bottom, which again are not tight. I think the next has got to these these big Allen keys. There we go. Oh, something wrong there. They ain't moving. Are they left-handed? Oh, that's tight, isn't it? I'll leave that in there. Let's tell you what. Turn another way around. Put that on there. And so how's that? Ten milli. Most boring techie bits ever. That's got flats on it, so that's designed, got to be designed to come off. Right, again, nicely machined, got an O-ring in. Ah, two more Allen keys. Oh, they're tight. Those screwed in are our goals. Yeah, so 
So they must be they must be screwed in. Right, they're coming out. Right, and quite a bunch of washers on them. And I've I've knocked a few off. Yeah. So as the block fell out. And we take the other nylon block off and find out what was in the inside. Right. So the whole lot moved. So now the whole lot moves and slides out. Whoa, that's a nice piece of machine. Look at all, look at all those washers. And what the reason for that is. Any engineers out there, why so many washers? And we got, oh, so we got two ball bur, I mean, look at the machining on that. Well, well we had two ball burrings in there and in there. So that located in the ball burrings. What did the ball, but it didn't allow it to move anywhere. So what was the point of the ball burrings? What was the point of the ball, ball burrings? Apart from it located it it located it and when you press when you screwed it down made sure it was in position still a very nice piece of machining right so now with that with that out that move forwards and backwards on that piston I can push that pin through there, like that, which means the sh should come off that shaft, and it does. We'll put that there for a moment, and then we should be able to pull this shaft out. We have. That, again very very nice piece of machining wow the finish on that that is beautiful that spring is literally doesn't go anywhere there's no hole through there so that's so that's that that is literally just a bent hole to keep the spring in place. I mean, look at the machining on that as well. That is a nice, beautiful piece of machining. Fine tolerances. Right. That is either pressed in or screwed in. Struggling with that screw, and what we've got here a big chunky piece of aluminum for a file here. Yep, aluminium. Alright, let me tidy up here. So, there we are, we've taken it to bits, well and truly taken bits. As far as I can tell, this whole contraption, this whole aluminium framing, is to hold one purpose. And that's to hold this device, which I'm going to figure is under pressure. And it's if I take that off, take the top off, it's to hold this in between. Now this does remove. It's like a it's like a plastic. Uh, 
and that hole lines up with that hole which lines up with that hole and that hole and if I can recall that was the bottom in that was the bottom so all this lot went in there it's new I'm going to say it's pneumatic so er went in that one and pushed the piston back or oh, er went in that one and pushed the piston forward or vice versa what that did was to move that hole forwards or backwards either seal the hole or allow the hole to be open and I guess when the hole is open something went through there went through there went through the top and to whatever was in that ring if you remember I didn't quite figure out the mechanism for how to rotate that well that is it sorry to say I don't know what it is I don't know what it does nice piece chunk of aluminium I've got to take that shaft out and down the middle there is a nice piece of phosphor bronze there we go so I need to get my saw cut it straight down I can punch the or press out that brass brass or phosphor bronze red bronze oil like burring out and then end up with a nice chunky piece of aluminium some nice pieces of stainless steel these well you know what I'm thinking they're nicely machined they're going to be practically a matched per I'm thinking of using them as parallels on the uh, milling machine may have to remove that top piece and there I would have a, I would have a pair of parallels I don't know things to play with that's it so there we go folks Ian Tech it bit scientific thingy it passed some time now it's uh, 12 minutes past 8 on a Friday evening and snobby scrap picker and friends uh, streaming and I think I need to join them on panel I'll see you there